Well, let me ask you this. As someone who's, a, that's actually, it's completely an offshoot here, but as someone who's obviously a, a deeply moral man and you talk about right and wrong, and, and actually I'll talk about at the end of this show that the happiness hour, I've been thinking about that quite a bit lately. Uh, it's, an, it's an hour that he does specifically in the show just devoted to happiness and your moral obligation to be happy. So as a moral person, as someone who deals with philosophy more, what's your view on a David Hogg? Is it bullying to absolutely dissect and destroy his ideas because he's underage? Obviously, he plays both cards. Treat me like an adult. Treat me seriously. And then says, I'm a child. Don't bully me. What do you believe is the, the morally correct approach with a little... Morally little... correct approach is, is to respond to how he behaves and how he speaks. Uh, I don't mock people in any, whatever their age. So I, I don't use that sort of thing. Uh, but... You are entirely right. They said the left sends kids out. Then when you attack what they say, you're a bully for attacking a kid. I had this, the, the Democrats had at their convention when Dick Cheney was still vice president. So we're talking about 12 years ago right. uh, or whatever it is, yeah, 10 years ago. And they had a girl get up. I think she was like 14. And all she did was mock, mock the vice president which I would never have, I would never allow my child to mock a Democrat. My father uh, allowed it and look how it turned out. So you probably made a good decision. <laughs> well, that, no, that is a good challenge to what I just said. <laughs> I mock everyone I, regardless of I, age. I go the I, other way. I like the way you turned out. <laughs> now, anyway, so she's just crapping on the vice president of the United States. And I found that offensive. I don't want 14 year olds uh, crapping on the president or vice president, whatever party. Right. It's that, that's not their business. And I, w oh, you deluged with, oh, look, Prager, yeah, conservatives, they pick on 14 year old girls. That's it. That's what they do. Right. Yeah. Well, I remember I got in trouble because uh, Jonathan Crone was this conservative young guy at CPAC. And uh, I was on a Fox News show and I made a joke. I said something to the effect of I have skivvies older than this kid. I just don't know that he should be a keynote speaker. And I got some flack on some blogs and conservatives gave me crap. And uh, then I had to introduce him. I had to introduce him, followed by Bill Bennett and Senator Rick Santorum. And he's in the green room. And once he found out I was a Fox News contributor, he's like, oh, so are you on, on like panels? And I'm sitting there going, please just don't run a search of what I've said. And it was just a harmless <laughs> joke. And then I got in trouble because I said, you know what? I'm uncomfortable with using children as, uh, as political pawns because someone like this, this was Jonathan Crone at the time, 14-year-old conservative activist, was really popular. I said, I think that there's a strong chance he'll become a pot-smoking hippie uh, at Berkeley. And you know what? I was right about everything except he went to Columbia and he ended up writing for Salon. <laughs> you can't so. write that. <laughs> Conservatives are just guilty yep. of it. Yeah. The kids, probably good kids. I felt like I felt like Clint Eastwood in Gran Torino just going down like a crucifix riddled with bullets for that kid because I was like, this kid absolutely has it coming.